Hey guys, this is Chris with Tabletop Sports Delaware, and in our second video for Star Wars, Star Wars the Customizable Card Game, we are going to go over setting up your deck, setting up the table, and getting ready to play. You've already seen what the cards look like, and um, you should take time to familiarize yourself with the cards that you like, but you're going to go through all of your cards, and each player is going to start with a 60 card deck. And these are going to be the cards that they start with. So let's go ahead. Um, the first thing that each player is going to do after they have selected their 60 card deck is they are going to, at the same time, reveal a starting location card. Boom. And they are going to place these cards on the table. If they're the same system, you can place them right next to each other. If they're from different systems, then uh, leave a little space so that way you can place more locations, uh, sites, and also the uh, system locations as the table expands. So you have done that, and now you have the remaining cards in your hand and in, in your deck, and. The remaining cards in your deck you will place hand at a handy location and this will be known as your reserve deck. This is the main deck that you have that you uh, activate force from. Um, so everyone is going to have a reserve deck. The next thing they are going to do is they are going to draw an eight card hand to start the game. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Eight. Now, oh, there was an extra one there. Okay. So, this is your reserve deck, and now you have your hand that you're going to start with. Dark side always goes first. So, we'll just go ahead and do a dark side turn real quick. Um, just to show you how the cards are arranged here. So, this is the hand for the dark side player. He's got a tie, he's got a Rodian, he's got an Imperial. He's got uh, effect, two effects, an interrupt. He's got another imperial. So, as we'll go over in gameplay, however many force icons the player has on their side of the table, the dark side player has the red force icons facing him, totals them up at all sites. So that's one, two, none here, and one for the player themselves is three. So they're going to activate three force in their activate phase. This is called your force pile right here. This is your force pile, your reserve deck, your force pile. And then we're going to say he is going to use two force to deploy a Rodian to the Death Star War Room. So we are going to deploy the Rodian and use two force. So we will put one, two force, in the used pile, we have used this force to deploy this character. So now you have your reserve deck, your force pile, and your used pile. Let's say there was a battle, and we ended up forfeiting the Rodian at this site. So this card, this character, is lost. This is your lost pile over here. You have your reserve deck, your force pile, your used pile, your lost pile. Now, anytime it refers to your living force, these cards are your living force. Once they are gone, game is over. So, like say you need to lose force, you can either lose force by putting one of the cards from your hand into the lost pile, or you can flip over a card from the top of anywhere in your, um, in your life force, your reserve deck, your force pile, or your used pile. Just take a card if you have to lose force, flip it over, boom, you've lost force. You put it in your lost pile over here. So this is the basic setup. Um, this is how you get your game started, and this is where things are going to go. And most times players will have this, like say, down in this corner of their playing area. The locations will be across here. Your opponent might have this set up in his area over here. And then you're deploying at sites the whole way across the table. But we'll get to that in greater depth in a shortly upcoming video. So this is number two, setting up the table and getting started. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Chris with Tabletop Sports Delaware. And as always, 
May the force be with you.